Hey guys, it's Adam for Reformed and Reloaded, and something happened in our Facebook group today. Someone told a story about something kind of crazy that happened to them over the weekend, and I wanted to relay it to you and kind of talk a little bit about some of the issues surrounding it. So one of our buddies, Tyler, had a kind of a bad experience with, with a friend and a firearm. Um, he was at a friend's house, a couple friends were around looking at some firearms, and uh, they were cleared, they were unloaded. Uh, they checked the, the breach to make sure there was no rounds in there. And um, the the friend, one of his friends, proceeded to point the muzzle at him kind of as a joke. And uh, and Tyler, understandably, got upset, freaked out a little bit. And uh, one of the things that, that kind of struck me was we as gun owners and gun enthusiasts, we take a lot of time to familiarize ourselves with the rules of gun safety. You have the, the four cardinal rules or the five rules, depending on who you ask, gun safety, six, seven, whatever. But one of the things that we don't really think too much about is the fact that other people don't necessarily know the rules of gun safety. Um, and so I think we call the fact that other people don't know the rules of gun safety, that is rule number zero. That is the the rule that comes before the rules. We have to understand that other people may not be as we are trained or or understand. You know, you can't point the gun at something that you don't intend to kill. The famous last words: "I thought it wasn't loaded." So what we want to do is is to make sure that when we are around other people, don't assume that they understand the things that you understand. And that's something that I really hadn't thought about too much. You know, other than in like in a training situation, you know, showing my wife or somebody else how to use a firearm. But um, we need to be cognizant of the fact that other people don't know what's going on. And I'll relay a little, uh, relay a little story that I had when, when I was, I think it was seven or eight years old. Um, I was at church and or at a church event and there was a bunch of kids there. And one of the, the police officer who went to the church, he, he handed the kids a, a real revolver and it was obviously unloaded and um, he was letting like the kids look at it and play with it really not showing anybody anything about it other than isn't this cool and I remember getting the pistol and pointing it at another kid not have having never been told you know you never point a gun at anyone else and uh, my mom freaked out a little bit and uh, I ended up getting a uh, hammer bite on the webbing between my my finger and my my thumb and it was kind of a traumatic experience you know but and and I mean this is in the day you know you didn't have airbags you didn't have you didn't have your know, kids sat in the front seat and all that stuff but still there's even in that time there should have been that should not have happened I mean you, you don't hand a, a weapon like that to a bunch of kids and a cop no less so I'm just thinking like what seems like it should be common sense to most of us is not always common sense. And uh, I've seen, I remember, I remember another time I've, I was somewhere where somebody was done shooting and just put the muzzle in front of a whole group of people. And we need to just be aware of rule zero. Other people do not know the things that you know. So I hope that's helpful. Just keep that in mind when you're around other people. Um, stay safe and we'll talk to you next time.